and the last lesson we created a database and added user successful and now we're going to need this information here for uh, the completion so you can just copy like that and just highlight and copy and you want to go back to your home and then from here you want to go to where it says file manager so you click on this in your file manager here I know that it looks like you have a lot of things going on but what you need to find here is just a public underscore HTML so you you click on this and this is going to show you all the stuff the current folders and files that are part of this particular um, section here so what you need to do right now is if this is going to be on the on your root domain in other words if people are going to go to your website name your business name whatever dot com or dot net then this is where you would install the helix uh, framework that you're working with but because I have other demo stuff here that I'm, I've already put, this is going to be in a subfolder. Now you can put this on a subdomain or in a subfolder. In this case, we're going to put this in a subfolder. So at the very top corner here, you want to click on the folder. Now, once again, if your dashboard doesn't look like this, you should have somewhere that you can click on to create a new folder that is going to be part of your uh, this domain. So I'm going to click on new folder. And in this folder, I'm just going to call it Helix U and then click on create new folder. So now we've successfully created a new folder. So you can click here, you double click on the folder and there is nothing in this folder. So now what we need to do is we need to import uh, the Helix framework package that we download the quick start that you saw early on. So we need to import that in here and to do so is very simple. You go at the very top here where it says upload and you click on it. It's going to prompt you to come on the screen. You can either drag the file and put it on here or you can click select and you're going to start loading it. So what I'm going to do is since I already have the file. Now the file that you downloaded, you don't need to unzip it. Just the file exactly how you have it. You got to do is just drag it over here or just select and you drop it. And now it's going to let you know that it's uploading it. So just give it a few minutes or so. so it's very quick. And then you can be able to move on to the next phase. Once it's been successfully uploaded, you're going to see this. The bar should be at 100%. So all you have to do is click this X to exit that screen. Now, when you come on here, you still wouldn't notice anything. What you have to do at this point is you have to click on reload. Now, when you reload it, you see the Helix Ultimate Quick Start here. So you click on it to highlight it. So now it's been successfully added on the server, but you still can't get access to where, you know, to, to extract it. So to extract it, you click on it and you click on extract. And it asks you where you're putting this. Now, if your screen looked like this, uh, then this is how it needs to be. So you don't want to change anything on here. So if you're putting it on your main folders I mentioned before, it's going to automatically just do that for you. So in this case, just click on extract files and extraction results is complete. You want to click on close. So once you've gone to the stage, that's great. That means that you've successfully um, installed everything almost. Then you want to go, you will open up another browser and you're going to type in, in my case, the domain name slash helix u that is where it's been installed and then you click to enter so from here now you are able to put in the information that uh, you want for your site so this one i was going to call the helix ultimate and you don't have to put description but you can we'll look at that later on and for the email you can just put in any email that you want to put in here or the email that is connected to, you know, something that you use a lot. But I'm just going to put, you know, just anything. You can always change this later. And you want to put the username. And then you want to put the password. Once again, Mac is suggesting. But I don't want to use that. So I'm just going to use something very basic for now. And the site offline, you want to keep this to no. And click on next. Save the password. Not really. And from here, it's asking you uh, the username. So remember the username you had on earlier? So I'm just going to do that. If you don't know what it is, just go back and go back to my SQL databases. 
and you can find out what that username that you use if you forgot what it is and you can scroll down you can find the current user in the database so you're going to need both of those in this case it's the same thing so put it there and I'm going to put the password and in terms of the table prefix don't worry much about this just don't change anything else uh, click on next when you get to the stage everything needs to look exactly like how my page look in other words if you have anything here that says on you need to contact your web host uh, so they can fix that because sometimes you can have for example like the magic quote uh, that says no so you don't want to have anything that says no so once you've done that the final step is you want to click on install and you get this message congratulations Joomla is now installed so this is great if you've gone this far and there are a couple of things here if you wanted to install additional languages which I'm not going to do in this particular course you can click here the extra step to add some more uh, like a multilingual which I'm not going to do right now but I just want you to click on remove installation folder if you don't remove the installation folder someone else can you know come in and you know kind of mess it up so click remove installation folder now you've done so you have the option of going to the site or option of going to the admin for me it really doesn't matter which one you choose for me i typically just go to the admin uh just to make sure that's set up properly because that is the you know the big thing so in the next lesson we're going to take a look at this front end site and the administrator